Do booster boxes of Pokemon cards or three packs of Pokemon cards have better hits in them? We're going to find out today because I'm opening 12 three-pack blisters to go head-to-head -head with booster boxes to see if there's better or maybe there's worse pulls than an actual booster box. The result here might shock you, so stick around till the end and let's get right into it to see what happens. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Skip Lup, and I've got a good one for you guys today. We got three-pack blisters of Scarlet and Violet, the newest Pokemon traded card set. I have 12 of these three-pack blisters, as you saw in the intro. We're going to be seeing which one of these is better. Uh, we're going to start off with the Arcanine. Let me get this thing out of here, and I'll show you guys the card. It's sick. All right, guys, so we finally got this thing open. We got these three packs right here, and we'll take a look at this Arcanine promo. Dude, just look at how much hollow is on these cards i absolutely miss when they put this much all over them the borders hollow this looks awesome i see a couple print lines but you know it's nothing really that crazy but it's a really nice card nonetheless so we're gonna see if um the dondozo or the arcanine promos are better let's take our first pack off and uh you know i don't know how you guys have been really liking scarlet and violet so far but man just with the hit rates all together and everything i am just absolutely loving the set the yellow borders are gone um everything's gone oh we got a full art in the first pack guys i don't know what it could be hang on i get a little nervous when i open let's see what we got the mirai on ex full art in the first pack man i don't know if booster boxes can hold up with this we do have a booster box opening um if you guys want me to open a booster box let me know but man Pulling one of these off the first pack, I think three packs might have it. I don't think a booster box can follow it up. If you guys think I should open a, a booster box next to see how kind of they compare, just let me know in the comments down below. But I don't know, man. Ah, I get scared opening these packs now. But you have a guaranteed hollow in every pack, if you guys didn't already know. You get two reverse hollows, and uh, you still get the code card and everything. But, um, man, like, they just, they still updated everything. The artworks are great. The Quaxley's awesome. I really like the design of almost all these Pokemon in this new generation. And let's see. Ah, oh, it's just a Donzozo to end it off. I just noticed these are two totally different Dondozo cards. All right, this one was a lot easier to open. We got the Dondozo promo. Dude, honestly, I might like this one more than the Arcanine, not gonna lie. It looks so good. Dondozo is such a cool Pokemon. All right, let's see. Again, dude, we're only uh, about four. This is only our fourth pack in, and uh, we've already got a full art, so... I'm not really sure what these hit rates are going to compare like. I, it'll be interesting to see. And a King Gambit. Oh, okay. Full baby. Toxel. Routes. Lucario. Sea Titan. Oh, that one's cool. Crocorock. Give me something. And a Clef Key. I don't know, man. Maybe that first pack was just good luck. But come on. One more pack. Maybe uh, Arcanines are just better than the Dondozo. Maybe we should just stick to opening three packs of, uh, of the Arcanine. But let's see. Last pack magic. For this blister, the Curlia! Nice hit! Okay, so, so far, we've gotten about one hit every single blister that we've opened, so maybe it's just kind of, maybe that's the way it's seated. And honestly, in a booster box, you usually get like 12 hits. So if we can get 12 hits out of these all together, there's 12 three-pack blisters, then these might end up coming out even with the booster box. Let's see. I don't know, though. Uh, I mean, we could get really lucky with some, or we can just like totally strike out. That's the thing with three-pack blisters is, like, it's totally random. It's totally different than, like, booster boxes where, um, like, you... Ca I'm, in Scarlet and Violet, it seems like you have guarantees uh, for a certain amount of cards that are in the set. I could talk more about that if you guys want. Uh, but it looks like guarantees finally made their way into the packs in English compared to Japanese. Oh, my gosh! The Bandit EX Full Art! Wow, these are hitting really good. Yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, we haven't hit a single regular EX card yet. We've gotten two full arts, and we have the Curlia uh, Illustration Rare, and we still have one more pack of this blister. I don't know. These might actually be better hits. Like, while it might be the same amount of hits, but the quality of the hits is just going to be so much better. Who knows? But wow, so far, so good. And I'm a ride on. Listen up. I'm going to be giving away a booster box. Listen up, guys. I'm going to be giving away an entire elite trainer box of Scarlet and Violet. Michael Hearn, what are you doing? No, dude, that's too expensive. I'm already giving away one of...
All right, guys, I'm giving away two Elite Trainer boxes of Scarlet and Violet. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then leave a comment if you guys like the Dondozo or the Arcanine promo better in these three-pack blisters, and you'll be entered to win. All right, we're on our second Dondozo blister now. Um, so far, honestly, doing pretty good. Uh, two full art hits, and we still have an illustration rare. No regular EXs yet. Dude, I'll take all the best hits. Oh, and we got the Riolu! I think that's one of the hardest ones to hit, it feels like. Do we have a double? No. Wow, nice hit. We take you with no complainies there. Wow. Dude, these are really good. These might be better than booster boxes, not gonna lie. Again, if you want me to just leave a comment if you want me to do a booster box comparison with this, but wow, like. Oh my gosh! What is this three pack? The rare candy! Dondozo, I love you. Just bless this last pack, please, because that. This one is insane so far. A gold and the Ryolu. That's awesome. Come on. Give us something good to end with. Give us a third hit. Oh my gosh! This is too much! This is too much, dude! Dude, every pack had a hit! Alright, Arcanine, you better listen up. You've got a lot of competition now. You really better give us some big hits in this next one. I don't know how I'm launching these things. All right, Arcanine, you better show us some good love in this one, please. Dondozo just absolutely wiped the floor with you. So let's keep this up. And guys, like, seriously, I got to say it again. Compared to a booster box, this is smashing it so far. It really is. Next one's up. I don't know. I might, I might stick to these. But if you guys don't know overall, Scarlet and Violet has had way better hit rates than anything in the Sword and Shield era. That might make the, uh, oh, Gyarados EX, nice. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, compared to Sword and Shield era, the hit rates in Scarlet and Violet is so much better, leading probably some of the pack, uh, the prices of cards to come down a bit. But I mean, when you just have such great artwork like this, so this is all top tier. Like they didn't step down with the arts at all. If anything, they stepped it up. Um, it's good for people who want to just, I guess, buy the cards. It'll be more affordable for them to do it. And, uh, and they're just great artwork still, so that's awesome. All right, so in that last one, Dondozo had these three hits. Arcanine has the one. Arcanine! <laughs> you lose. All right, let's see if Dondozo has the magic still. Something they didn't really change about the three-pack blisters is how sharp these can get on the side. So seriously, watch out, because these can actually like get you pretty good if you, if you let it go. All right, come on, Dondozo. You've been our golden child this whole time. You've definitely been my favorite kid, so... Let's see if we can get some more awesome heat in this pack. Oh, the Iron Treads EX. That's our first regular EX, I think, of the whole opening, too. All right, Don Dozo, I'm going to give you a... Mwah. Give us another one. Give us another big one. We're looking for it. So far, I really... I, honestly, with only being halfway through after this, I think booster boxes might have a lot of catching up to do. Slow, bro. Look at that holographic. That's one of the best hollows in the set, not even... Not even a doubt in my mind. All right, last pack magic of this one. One hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. Can we get two? Well, let's take a look. Brelu, Killer Watcher. Bruh. I did not miss you one bit. I got a special place for Greed. We'll open that back in a second. I got a special place for you. You cannot, buddy! Get out of here! Scatterbug! Oh, and we got another full art Bennett! Wow! See, that's what happens when you sacrifice the Greed. Don't ever. If anybody's gonna say, why didn't you ramp the Karn? Guys. That Greedent has haunted me since Fusion Strike a year and a half ago. Seriously. Do not let the Greedent fool you. I know he's a cute little uh, mouse rat squirrel thing, but do not let him fool you. He is completely evil. He will ruin every pack you have. When you see them, you rip the Greedent. All right, our next Arcanine one is here. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm just, guys, I get really upset when I see those Greedents. I'm sorry. But seriously, if you see one, get rid of it. All right. Just get rid of it. It's not worth it. If it's your favorite, po if it's your favorite Pokemon, leave a comment. If your favorite Pokemon is Greedent, but I, there's no way any of you guys here your favorite is Greedent. There's no way. Toxicroak. 
I don't know. I I really I really have a hard time believing if someone's favorite Pokemon is Greedent. And if someone's favorite is Greedent, I question your authenticity. I'm just kidding. You're fine. You can like whoever you want at the end of the day. Pokemon is a very inclusive hobby. You can like who you want to. Every Pokemon, I'm sure, has a biggest fan somewhere. Except for, hopefully, Greedent. That's just my hope. But I'm sure somebody loves him out there. But if I see him, he just brings me bad luck and I get rid of it. You know? Don't let people with bad luck bring you down. All right, looks like Don Dozo's the winner today because that that whole blister had nothing but a toxic croak in it. All right, Don Dozo is like seriously my best friend. He's he's just giving us hits in every pack, like two full arts. We've gotten both of the bandits, I think, from it. It's just he does really good to us. We'll forget about that one. All right, so I think out of these next two, I think I'm gonna pick right. I think right is gonna be the one that has the better hit. And I think the one with the starters on it is going to have nothing in it. You always got to play these little games with yourself to see if you're right or wrong. Picnic Basket, Magneton Reverse, Beach Court, and a... Okay, well, I hope I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm... if there's actually a hit in this pack, I don't know. I don't think there will be, though, because my gut is usually right, at least, on the things that don't have hits in them. If there is a hit, I'd be really confused. See, I'm always right. I'm never wrong, ever. All right, Arcanine, you have another shot. Wait, that last blister literally had no hits in it, did it? Had not even a single card in it. Hmm. Well, I guess if you get unlucky and you get a bunch of three packs like that, maybe a booster box isn't, or is a better way to go, because at least you get the guarantees, right? But, uh, I mean, overall, nice. Another Gyarados. It seems like we're getting a good amount of duplicates overall. All right, let's try this again, please. If I'm wrong, just get rid of me, okay? I'm going to pick... Uh, no, I feel like the starters have something bad about that. I don't know. I'm getting a bad vibe from that starters pack. I think this one's the one with the hit. The starters don't have a hit. I got I got to stick with my gut on this one, guys. I got to stick with my gut. I love the starters. Just something about that pack's off to me. And a King Gambit. Okay. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. I uh, I had I, I gave you a lot of smack talk, but if you end up with a hit, I don't know what to tell you. Please. Please no hit. Please no hit. Please no hit. There it is. Oh, dude, Skip, you did it again, bro. You did it again. All right, so we only have three blisters left. We have this one, and then we have the two others that are sitting in the back there. And uh, I'm, I'm having a good time, honestly. Like, this is just kind of a video that I'm loving having fun, seeing if pull rates are a little bit different. Hopefully, you get some value out of it and get to see some awesome cards get hit. But uh, overall, you know, I, uh, I plan to make some informational videos. I don't know if you guys want those or just you just want me messing around and having fun. If you do... Uh, I really would appreciate comments with kind of the videos that you do like. If you look at some of our old ones and, and kind of, oh, another Toxic Croak. Awesome. But yeah, just let me know what you guys like to see. Uh, I like doing everything. Like, I like talking about information. I feel like I could have some good insight to help you guys out with uh, when it comes to collecting and, you know, where you should spend your money, stuff like that. But I also feel like I have a lot of fun opening and, uh, and we can have some good times doing that too. You know, Ark and I haven't given you any love yet, so let's uh, bring it in. That should be it. That should do it for us. Come on, Arcanine. I know I know you have it in you. You have the potential. Your mother and your father told me how much potential you had. And I'm here to bring it out of you. Come on. I'm here to bring it out of you, Arcanine. You can do this. Look, that big booster box is a bully. This guy, he's a big bully. Look, show him that even the little guy in the three-pack blister can come out and be the underdog. Come on. Ah. Come on, underdog. Show me, show me the little guy. Come on, this would be a big win for the little guy. Fido, Scatterbug, please, please, something, something. Okay, Arcanine, or, uh, ah, Bennett. Last blister. Now, let me preface this. If there's anything in these three packs, anything at all, anything at all, that is, like, better than a regular EX, then always go for the Dondozo three-pack blisters. Always do it, okay? Always do it. There's no reason not to if we get another great hit in here. Because by far, I didn't expect this. I was going to go, yeah, three-pack blisters versus a booster box. But, dude, now it's like it's like this video is turning into Team Dondozo or Team Arcanine three-pack blisters. The Dondozo, look, I'm hitting the cam. I'm getting so hyped up about this. The Dondozo ones have far and away. Dude, this is awesome. The route. Oh man, Don Dozo, you're the man! Last pack to end it all. I would, uh, I'd be lying if I wasn't nervous. All right. 
Don Dozo's, I, I believe in Don Dozo, though, completely. I mean, even if there's nothing in here, then I don't care. Because Don Dozo definitely, definitely, definitely. Here we go, guys. Last hit. Oh, the Iron Treads EX taking home another victory. Okay, so now the really important part is this, okay? I know we went Arcanine versus Don Dozo, but look, the important part right now is how many hits did we get in these three-pack blisters versus a booster box? So from me opening, I'm just going to tell you, from me opening booster boxes, I would get 12 in a good, in an okay one and 13 in a really good one. I haven't gotten more than 13. I've opened like over 20 boxes. It's not the biggest sample size, but it's something, okay? Out of these three-pack blisters, I opened 36 packs. Let's take a look. One. Routes, really nice. Two. Bandit, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hits out of the same 36 packs you would get if you opened a booster box. This might be the way to go, guys. Okay, I just noticed one more thing that I want to note before we go is usually in a box, a booster box, you'll get two to three of these regular illustration rares. We actually got four of them. And this is actually the best one in the set. We got four of them, which is better performing than a booster box. And then we also got four of these that are classified as secret rares. Now, the only thing we're missing is we didn't get any of the special illustration rares like this one up here or this one over here. And those are awesome cards. We didn't get any of those in ours. So that might be the one drawback to these. But overall, if you're looking for like the most amount of hits, like just quantity overall and some really nice cards, this is your way to go. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching the video. You should probably watch this one right here. Or if it's not there, it should be here. If it's not there, it should be here. And if it's not there, it should be here. I don't know this YouTube stuff, but leave a comment if you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Uh, leave it for Mike O'Harn, the crazy guy who made us give you two ETBs. And I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Ugh!